Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the 2023 330i in Melbourne Red, or Melbourne Red, depending on where you are. So this is the G20 chassis, and this one is fairly well equipped. Just missing a couple things, really. Let's talk about this one up front. We have the M Sport package and the Shadowline package. See so blacked out kidney grill, and then Shadowline lights. And because you get the shell line package, you get the coring light, which is right there. Don't get shell line, don't get the coring light. Really, really weird combinations. Moving to the side. We have the style 791M wheels with the blue M Sport calipers. And because we did the dynamic handling package, we actually got the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Which is a fantastic option to have. Performance non-run flat tire on the base, if you will, 330i. Those bicolor wheels, I think, work really well against Melbourne Red. Here's our side profile. And move into the back, we have our high gloss black gurney flap, part of that shadow line package. Then out back, a very aggressive faux diffuser. So it's all for looks, high gloss black, and then our dual exhaust uh, tips. So you can also get the M Performance exhaust on this vehicle. This one does not have it, and with that hefty of price of I think about $3,000, maybe a little bit more than that, you will get carbon fiber tips as well. Moving around to the other side here, and taking in our Melbourne Red Metallic. I think first appeared on the E9X M3, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at the time, I think the E90s were having, non M3s were having crimson red. And then Melbourne Red makes its appearance. It's not on a lot of vehicles as well. However, it is an individual option on vehicles. We had Melbourne Red on the 4 Series convertible. You can also get it on something like the X5, which would be quite the choice. And I don't know how popular that would be, a red X5 out here, because red already doesn't do extremely well, for whatever reason out here, in Mountain View. And opening up, we have the black perforated Sensatec. And of course, you could go classic red and tan society look, basically essentially the classic Ferrari 308 look with the brown interior. Let's go with beige, but black is a very sort of safe choice to go with. Now you do not get the side bolster adjustment, you still get lumbar support for the driver only. Alright, so inside, M Sport steering wheel, M badging here, no stitching, that's reserved for at least the M performance models and above. Our iDrive 8 instrument panel, heads up display, and our curved display, and the trim is the aluminium rhombosyl anthracite trim. I believe this is the fault for the M Sport package. Then down the middle here, we've got our drive selector nub. It's basically a bigger change other than iDrive 8, of course, and the styling cues. On the inside, you have to get used to this selector. So no longer a traditional gear selector. All right, so let's talk pricing. So the starting price of the 330i is $43,800. Metallic paint as another $650. Sentec is included. Of course, you could go crazy and get the Vernasco leather, which I believe is $1,500. And the driving assistance package, again, should be included, $700. Dynamic handling package for the $1,200. Shell line package for the $850. $3,100 for the M Sport package. Parking assistance package, $700. Premium package for the $1,350. And then we've got the Harman Kardon surround sound system for $875, all told MSRP of just over $54,000. You could go higher by basically adding the driving assistance professional package, uh, wireless charging, and personal ESM 5G, I think. And maybe a couple other options. But there's not many left to choose from without going into the M Performance Parts uh, accessories. All right, so into the back seat, door thing's really nice and wide as opposed to the 4 Series. View from the back seat. The moonroof shade is open. So I think a pretty nice 
interior. We uh, might disagree about the iDrive 8 displays. Is it tacked on? Is it integrated? I don't care. I think it looks pretty good. And then you got the rear seat climate zone control. Knee room, leg room, pretty good. And then headroom is really good as well. So no complaints as a rear seat passenger in the 3 Series. All right, so move into the back. Use our kick to open feature. Line yourself up. Nice kick in. Trunk pops open. Of course, it does not have the powered tailgate, which I believe is making its way back for model year 24. Uh, trunk is really nice size. And of course, the rear seats do fold down. You've got your latches here to pull and fold down the rear seats. Make our way to the front, pop the hood, and of course, as I mentioned, you can still go higher on the prices. So basically, leather and driving assistance package would add another what thirty-two hundred dollars to the vehicle. So you can approach sixty thousand dollars on a three hundred and thirty i. So underneath the hood here is the B forty-eight inline four-cylinder, two-liter turbo engine. 255 horsepower and 295 torques. And of course, not good enough force to close it. But finally, another Melbourne Red on location. I think it's a really good looking red. Unfortunately, many out here in the Bay Area don't necessarily agree. So basically, it's going to be Brooklyn Gray. It'll be uh, white or black is usually the preference for most 3 Series. Even though there's Skyscraper Gray, Portamile Blue, Phytonic Blue if you don't go M Sport. Really good choices. But that's it for a quick tour around the 330i, and we'll see you at the next video.